get down to some presidential learning. We'll start with George Washington, straight from Mount Vernon. The first president and commander in chief fought the Revolutionary War so we could be free. John Adams was second, Thomas Jefferson third. When we fought for independence, their voices were heard saying, When in the course of human events, okay. yeah, we took yeah. a stand and we've been doing it since. Okay. Yeah, Blessed our yeah. lives and our fortunes and all. Defended our sacred honor for a better tomorrow. During the War of 1812, James Madison led again against the British and defeated the Red. Next came Monroe, then John Adams' his son, followed by Old Hickory, Andrew Jackson. Martin Van Buren was president eight. William Harrison was not the only South 30 days. Number 10 came Tyler, 11 was Pope, then Zachary Taylor, Old Ruffer ready to go. After Fillmore, Pierce, and Buchanan were gone, Abraham Lincoln said that slavery's wrong. And all through the Civil War, he united the nation and signed the Emancipation Proclamation. All through the Civil War, he united the nation and signed the Emancipation Proclamation. It's a tribute. To the leaders of the USA It's the president's rap All right, all right Okay, okay It's a commander-in-chief It's a tribute To the leaders of the USA It's the president's rap All right, all right Okay, okay Andrew Johnson bought Alaska from Russia officially And General Grant led the North to victory Rutherford B. Hayes was number 19, the first president to get a telephone ring. Garfield was number 20, Chester Arthur 21, followed by Grover Cleveland and Benjamin Harrison. But Cleveland wasn't done, his aggression was firm, re-elected and served to non-consecutive terms. 25 was McKinley, Roosevelt 26, the youngest president ever. And then it switched to William Howard Taft, then Woodrow Wilson, the leader of our nation during World War I. After him, Warren Harding, then Calvin Coolidge. The stock market crashed during Herbert Hoover. Till Franklin D. Roosevelt came and gave some hope and help. A new deal was born, and all around relief was felt. He stopped the Great Depression, served for four terms to World War II. Then it became Truman's turn to finish off the fight for our rise to power and pave the way for Mr. Eisenhower. President 35, the great JFK, had a vision for moonwalking till they took him away. We miss the King of Camelot and we cherish the memory. There will never be another John F. Kennedy. 36 was Lyndon B., 37 Nixon. Scandals and contradictions, disgrace and tradition, screaming, I am not a crook. Resigned before impeachment, they got him off the hook. After the crimes of Watergate, Gerald Ford was 38. Followed by Jimmy Carter, who was from the Peach State. Ronald Reagan was the 40th, who was an actor first. And then the world became his audience. Now check it out, then his VP, George Bush, became the man. During Desert Storm to stop Saddam was the plan. Clinton was 42nd, the economy was great. This country had the lowest unemployment rate. When Bush Jr. came in office, he dealt with the attacks of 9-11 and the war with Iraq. Now after hearing this, isn't it evident that every one of these men deserve a president rap? It's a tribute to the leaders of the USA. It's the president's rap, all right, all right, okay, okay. He's got commander in chief. It's a tribute to the leaders of the USA. It's the president's rap, all right, all right, okay, okay. Now some of y'all wondering about 44 How's it gonna be now that Bush is out the door On November the 4th of 2008 Our country did elect the best candidate Now Barack Obama said it was time for a change Wanted things to stay the same Then you might have picked McCain My friends, I hope we made a good choice Not one we will regret Cause Obama is the 44th president The tribute to the leaders of the USA It's the president's rap All right, all right Okay, okay The commander in chief It's the tribute To the leaders of the USA It's the president's rap All right, all right Okay, okay Word